Demon Energy D1NZ National Drifting Championship coming to you from Dunedin's iconic Forsyth Bar Stadium, a first for drifting in the Southern Hemisphere. Yes, fantastic facility, amazing venue, and the Dunedin crowd have turned out. Steve Daniel and myself, Kenny Ruddle, bringing you all the action for the top eight battles here in the Pro Championship. If you missed last week's show, here's a look at the track rundown and an introduction to our judging panel. Well, our series judges for the 2017 season, Brendan Dunker, based out of Auckland, been drifting for 14 years, being joined alongside Dan Mackey, based out of Sydney, Australia, a wealth of experience with 15 years behind the wheel and a drift judge since 2013. Our final judge on the panel, Kyle Jackway, is based out of Hamilton, winner of the Pro Sport Series here, the opening round on last week's show, and he slots into style. And taking us for a lap around the track here at Forsyth Bar Stadium is none other than our pole sitter, our top qualifier, Michael Prosnick, based out of Melbourne, Australia, driving the Toyotas Galore 2JC powered GT86. The judges are asking for a big outside line with the rear of the car close to the walls, three outside zones to start the course. That's right, Steve, it's a big outside line that the judges want to see. Firing on through to this midsection, this is where it gets technical, there's an outside clip just here on the right hand side of the track firing on through they need to carry a wide outer line right on the outside of the track before driving back in to this inside transition on the left hand side a very tight section through the transition the judges are asking for speed over angle on the second inside clip a quick and precise layup through to the last inside zone on the left before powering back out to the finish of the loop that's right steve outer zones to finish the course full power full noise and plenty of smoke it's all happening here at Forsyth Bar Stadium. Penalties for the round are straightforward. A wheel off is a points deduction. Two wheels off will result in a zero score. Straight lines and spins will also knock you out of contention. Correction scored in real time. Time to take a look at the battle proximity under the D1NZ rulebook. And of course the chase car is aiming for the rear quarter of the lead car, using it as a mobile clipping point throughout the course. The lead car has to set a qualifying line. It's up to the chase car to match or better that performance. And of course, diving and shortcuts will result in a penalty. Well, time now to take a look at our top 16 battle tree. And on last week's show, it was Prosnick performing our pole sitter, of course. Drew Donovan going ahead over Phil Sutherland. Jody Verholst taking a win over Joe Marshall. And then Nico Reed moving through over Joel Counter. Right hand side of the top 16, Fanger Dan would go through over Stewie Baker. Matty Hill versus Darren Kelly saw a Kelly win. Cole Armstrong would move forward from Dave Steadman with Troy Jenkins narrowly missing out over Danon Templeman. Well, it's time for the top eight to start and we drop in here with an OMT times two. It's pretty much sudden death, Steve, between these two drivers. Australian international Michael Prosnick in the Toyota's Galore 2JZ powered GT86 up against the Kiwi Drew Donovan in the V8 powered Milwaukee Tools S15. With Donny D tucking right in as they go through that inside section, almost making contact as they fire in through into the left hander. Fantastic chase run here from Donny D. Good lead lap though from our pole sitter, of course, Michael Prosnick taking out the top qualifier result on the Friday night and Prosnick stacking on the angle. They lay up both on that wide outer line on the wall already in the top eight. We're seeing amazing action here at Forsyth Bar Stadium. What a stadium, what a fantastic place. Let's see what they do. It's OMT times two. We have to find a winner. The Milwaukee Tools S15, it's Donny D. He'll lead the way. The Australian Michael Prosnick will take chase. Well, in the chase, Prosnick shallow. He's trying to rectify a really, really slack start for the Toyota's Galore GT86. We're heading into the midsection now, and you'll see there Prosnick trying to dive in, trying to regain that proximity. It's good points in terms of proximity and being on that rear quarter, but it was just such a dive that he's going to be marked down. Donny D, though, he, does he know what's happening in the rear? Oh, a mistake. But Prosnick has something mechanical gone wrong in the car. Donny D just finishing the section. Well, let's see what happened. I was going to say, Donny D had to maintain his composure, but issue right there. The Toyota's Galore GD86 almost coming to a halt. Awesome. A hey, uh, shout out to Pros, man. He, he's a top driver, and, and without a doubt, he's got the best attitude out there. So uh, big thanks, Pros, and awesome battles, bro. And yeah. Oh, yeah, you know, it's just a shame. I just want to sit break and. Uh and just put on a show, but unfortunately we couldn't do it today, and uh, yeah, we'll move on. Well, Michael Prosnick looking perhaps a little bit uh, dis disappointed there, Steve, just uh, not happy being knocked out 
in the top eight, but a fantastic battle nonetheless. Three times with Donny D. Right now, though, teammate, Team DMNZ, teammate and partner, Jody Verhulst in the Milwaukee Till Supra. He finished last season in second place as the Evergreen Tires S15, the People's Champion, Nico Reed. He's going up against Jody Verhulst, and Verhulst tries to close the gap. She gets right up under there. Big mistake, though. Yeah, huge mistake from Verhulst. She really went that uh, close proximity really tried to dive in there on that rear quarter didn't do her any favors though and it's messed up the rest of her run and oh just like michael prosnick jody verholst has uh, called it quits at the end of the section there for the first lap well let's have a look at the link ecu refi you see she comes right up close to the gap this is the last left hander as they come through almost the tap possibly as they come through Nico still smoking the bags, but Jody comes to a stop. Yeah, Nico Reed, a very, very strong run there for the Evergreen Tires Nissan S15. What's going to happen here, though? What can Nico Reed pull out of the chase? Can Jody Verholz rectify her errors with a good lead run? Well, it's 2JZ Power, anti lag, smashing the stadium, the Milwaukee Tools machine. Jody Verholz, the first lady of drift, the people's champion in chase. He's got advantage at the moment. Can Jody force a mistake from the car behind? Nico Reed keeping it nice and conservative in the rear. Gonna put the hammer down here though. Can he put it down? No, he doesn't. Jody Verholz actually getting a bit of a drive there. Quick car, but perhaps Nico knows he's got that much of an advantage. Jody, you might have given it away on that chase. What happened? Uh, I'm, I'm struggling. It's, it's got a lot of traction out there, so we just don't have the legs to really get it around the track like we should. But, yeah, really messy first run, so let myself down on that one. Jody had me a little bit nervous there. Kyle's um, faster than I thought, but, yeah, we're getting there, and I'm slowly warming up, and, yeah, can't wait. Well, Nico read through to the semifinals. Let's see you after the break. Dunedin, that, that stadium, that's going to be sick, you know, it's, I'd take my hat off to the, the D1 crew and everyone involved and, in, in, you know, making something like that come together because it's just going to be off the hook. I've just got people coming up to me every single day just going, oh my god, I've seen that on the news the other night, it's going to be so mean, we're definitely going to come to it, that's one thing we're not going to miss. Foresight Bar, awesome, awesome stadium, uh, awesome concept by um by D1NZ and Brendan, it's uh, it's wicked to be out there. It's it's very technical. You've got to be really wired to do it. But um, hey, loving it out there. D1NZ put on an epic event here, indoor arena. The amount of hours and time that's gone into this, it'd be rude not to come. Uh, and D1NZ were good enough to let us drive their uh, Toyota's Galore 86. Yeah, it's amazing to be in the stadium. You know, you couldn't couldn't have anything better than this. Um, it's the first first time in Southern Hemisphere. Um, great drivers, awesome crowd, you know, it's, it's got to be great. Just being in that crowd and that atmosphere, you're definitely going to feel it, eh? And come comp day, it's going to be who can handle the pressure. Welcome back to the Demon Energy D1NZ National Drifting Championship Series. It's the opening round of the 2017 season here at Forsyth Bar Stadium. Drew Donovan and Nico Reid already through to the semi finals. Right now, though, it's Fanger Dan and Darren Kelly battling for a spot in the semis. The Century Batteries VF Holden Commodore Fanger Dan. Darren Kelly both warming up the tyres for the ever-changing custom concrete track conditions. Yeah, that's right, Steve. The, the track conditions here just kept changing constantly throughout the night, and obviously temperatures did play a part in that. And even though we've got a roof over our heads here at Forsyth Bar Stadium, well, just watching it almost looked like a bobble for the Nissan New Zealand R35 Skyline. Darren Kelly coming through. It's raining outside, but it's dry inside. That's why we came under roof. The first in the Southern Hemisphere, Century Batteries VF Holden Commodore. Fanger Dan powers through the last part of the circuit into the final double left-hander. Yeah, there was perhaps a little mistake there for Kelly through that transition just ever so slightly, but Kelly, though, really, are just a really good, solid chase run here in that Nissan GTR. Well, let's look to the Link ECU replay. Both of these drivers, two-time champion, single champion behind. There's a mistake there, though, Kenny. Yeah, it's, it's very minor, and he set the car up well through that last outer zone. Here's another view on the Link ECU replay. Just a little correction there, trying to make sure he kept things under control in the Nissan GTR. Of course, a brand-new car for Darren Kelly, former uh, 2015 Pro Champion, up against two-time former champ, Fanger Dan. Well, Fanger setting himself up. He's the best door knocker in the business. Can he close the gap on Darren Kelly? They come through the centre section into that big left-hand switch, and look as he comes right up on the door. Yeah, closes in on that rear quarter. He's holding his line, stacking on the angle. But Kelly, though, pulling a little bit of a gap now. Is he going to put the hammer down? Well, it's Darren Kelly's first time out, the first championship round. Has he got enough? Will he beat 
Fanger, Dan Woolhouse. Is he going to go through into the top four? Link ECU replay. Darren Kelly leading out Fanger, Dan. The Nissan R35 GTR. And you'll see here, this is where Kelly just capitalised through that midsection. So he rectified his issue on the first lap. Uh, me and Fanger have done a lot of battles together now. So we know that both of us don't hold back, just go hard and you can have a good battle. So yeah, always love coming up against Fanger. I uh, just want to let you know you're through the top four. <laughs> Shit, that's good news being uh, first time we've got the car out here. I'm stoked with that. Well, fantastic result for Darren Kelly. He's going to go through, but will it be Dana Templeman? Is it going to be Cole Armstrong? We're going to find out. The V Energy 250 GT will lead the way. That 2JZ powered E46 BMW gets into chase. Can that 1200 horsepower BMW close the gap on the mole? Cole Armstrong. Cole Armstrong from Taranga, the Bay of Plenty, the V Energy 250 GT. It's RB versus JZ. The RB out in front, Dana Templeman. Coming in on that rear quarter, a little bit of a bobble there, perhaps maybe a wheel off of slight points deduction, but otherwise a fairly good chase here, right up on the A-pillar though, a little bit shallow through the exit, Steve. Well, Cole Armstrong, he's been a man I've watched all weekend. He's been running hot. As we see the left front wheel hit and go over the concrete, that is going to be a points deduction for Dana Templeman. Advantage, Cole Armstrong. We swap over. Dana Templeman now has a chance at leading out. What can Cole Armstrong do in the chase? Well, Cole Armstrong comes into the right-hander. He tries to close the gap, and he's doing it through into that centre section. We ride on board the V Energy 250 GT. Quick switch into the left-hander. Oh, good transition there from Cole. He's just caught it. He's held on to it. Can he continue through the rest? He's closing in on that BMW of Dana Templeman. Look at this fantastic chase run here from the V Energy 250 GT skyline. Cole Armstrong, has he done it? What a fantastic drive. Link ECU replay, we watch Cole Armstrong come through, it looked like the BMW was going to pull away, but watch the green machine, the V Energy car, pulling up and almost wheel docking the BMW up front. Well this is for a spot in the semi-finals, let's head down to Ash Monaghan in the pits. Yeah, you liking the replay? Yeah. You're happy with that Chase? Yeah. You're through to the top four. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> Me. I sort of uh, goosed it myself and, and, and probably didn't put on a, a very good lead run and he, uh, he just monstered me. So, you know, hats off to Cole. Uh, hats off actually to D1NZ and the whole promotion for, for putting on what a fantastic event. You know, um, we should be really proud of what the sport's achieved at an event like this. And, you know, thanks to all the crowd for coming out and hi to mum and everyone at home. Congrats. Well, that finishes off the top eight. Let's look at the top four at semi-final time. Drew Donovan up against Nico Reed, Darren Kelly and Cole Armstrong. Well, stick around. We'll see you after the break. Semi-final time. Well, welcome back to the Demon Energy D1NZ National Drifting Championship. We've just seen the top four drivers being decided to go through and battle the semis. Who will it be? Drew Donovan, Nico Reed, Darren Kelly or Cole Armstrong? Well, fantastic conditions here inside Forsyth Bar Stadium. We've got a roof over our heads. It's raining outside, as we mentioned earlier, and it's time to get into the semis. Nico Reed up against Drew Donovan. The Evergreen Tires S15 is the People's Champion. Nico Reed, he'll lead the way. And it almost looked like he pulled out to quite a wide line. What are the judges going to be saying about that? Here comes Drew Donovan, tucks up in and close. Yeah, a lot of points are going to be lost there for Nico, perhaps on the entry. But uh, Nico doing a good job here out in the lead. And oh, has he got, is there mechanical dramas for Nico? Because he just seemed to falter there through that, coming out of that midsection. So Donovan had to. Uh, do a bit of an evasive manoeuvre there, didn't he, Steve? Well, Donovan, he's the chase car. He saw the mistake or whatever has happened to Nico Reed. He knows right now he's got advantage. We take a look at the Link ECU replay. Oh, Nico Reed just, yeah, something not right there. Just stacked on the angle. Didn't come together for him through that uh, inside transition zone. So coming on through here to the second pass, Drew Donovan will have a chance at leading the Milwaukee Tools Nissan S15, the V8 up against the inline six Nissan of Nico Reed. 
Well, the people's champ, he's going to close it up. He needs to draw a mistake, and he comes right up. Closing up. Proximity is all we want to see here. The Demon Energy, D1NZ, and there's contact between the two drivers. <laughs> oh. Nico pulls out. I think he knows that his weekend is done. Oh, that was just so unfortunate for Nico. Fantastic chase run there. Bit of a door knock, a bit of a panel paint rub on Drew Donovan, but the Milwaukee Tools S15 looking like it has the advantage right now. Yeah, I think he knows his day is done. Link ECU replay, this is where all the action happened. Nico right up on that door, just couldn't make it stick though. And I think Nico Reed out with mechanical dramas. So just hearing over race radio, Nico Reed out of action. So unfortunately something mechanical has gone wrong in that car, which means these two drivers right now, whoever gets knocked out is going to score third place. Well, let's see who it's going to be. It's the V-Energy 250 GT of Cole Armstrong, the Nissan New Zealander, his first time up. Darren Kelly is for the final. Who will it be? We'll go through the centre section into the left-hander. Darren Kelly stacking on the angle through that transition. Can he get up on that rear quarter? He's hungry for a win. He's in a brand new car, but then you can't discount Cole Armstrong. And look at Darren Kelly in the rear. Oh, did he get too close, Steve? Was he too hungry? He was too hungry in the chase. Well, a haze comes out the back end of the V Energy 250 GT. I think Cole Armstrong has done enough to take advantage. Well, we'll go to the Link ECU replay. Darren Kelly really laying up on that corner. That's that same little error we saw chasing uh, Fang and Dan, so perhaps just a little bit too eager for Darren Kelly, a little bit hot-headed perhaps. Maybe he needs a bit of a radio call from his spotter, just calm down through that transition. But anyway, it's his lead lap now. What can he pull out of the bag? Well, Cole's been winding on the angle all weekend, almost scrubbing the concrete as he fires it through. He's going to try and close it up. Cole Armstrong through the transition pair of RB30s screaming. It's resonating through the stadium, Steve. It's so loud. It certainly is. We can hardly hear ourselves speak as Cole Armstrong fires through. Can Darren Kelly pull away now? Cole is closing it right up. Rails the concrete wall to finish. I think it's enough. Cole Armstrong, my pick to go through to the final. I'm not sure if you noticed, but Darren Kelly had a small correction on his chase. What do you reckon that means for you? Hopefully it gave me a little advantage. Um... Me and Darren have been driving for a wee while now. I trust him pretty hard, so I, I was definitely going to put a hard chase on him. Hopefully, uh, everyone got to see some fat battles just then. I tried to be the first one to put a good mark on his car, but uh, cool battle, man. Unreal track, unreal event, and I hope the crowd enjoyed that. Yeah, just on the chase, you come around there pretty blind, and um, you just you know that concrete wall's right there, so you don't want to switch too aggressively and get the front end right into that clip. So, uh, yeah, just made a little mistake on that, and. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what his chase was like, but yeah. Well, there is the result. Drew Donovan and Cole Armstrong will battle for the final. So Darren Kelly secures third place on the podium. Unfortunately for Nico Reed, mechanical dramas means we won't see that battle. A Foresight Bar Stadium stand-up. You wanted the best. You've got them to impress. The Demon Energy D1NZ National Drifting Championship. Round one, it's final time. That's right, Steve. It is final time. And what a fantastic start by Donny D. Drew Donovan right on that rear corner of Cole Armstrong. Strong. Cole Armstrong, he's got the bit between the teeth. He's going to try and power out and create a gap between himself and Donny D in the Milwaukee Tools machine. Well, both of these drivers are on form this weekend. Fantastic battling. And, of course, Donny D has probably done the most battles tonight with those three OMTs with Michael Prosnick. And right here, right now, a fantastic chase run on the V Energy 250 GT. Well, it's going to be hard to call between the two of them. We'll go to the Link ECU replay. And, oh, just... Fantastic action through the entry. Donny D right up on their rear quarter and just sticking to it. Well, the judges wanted proximity. Donny D giving it to them. Let's go to the second half of this final battle. Who's it going to be? Cole Armstrong in the V Energy 250 GT, or will it be Drew Donovan in the Milwaukee Tools Nissan S15? It's V8 versus inline six. The turbos have been dominating in pro sport. Can they dominate here in the pro championship? Donny D, though, leading out a little bit of a gap. Quick transition, though, from Cole Armstrong. He's right there, Steve. He certainly is. He's getting right on that back bumper. It's all about the rear quarter. Donny D powers out into the left-hander. One more corner to go. This is it, the final of the Demon Energy. D1NZ round one, the first time at Forsyth Bar. Who will it be? Well, Armstrong keeping it clean on the line. Who will it be? 
link ECU replay. Armstrong, just very, he's just so good through that transition. He's just very, very precise about where he wants to position the car. I'm just going to ask outright, do you think you have what it takes to win? Yeah, damn right I do. Damn right. We gave it all us then. It's a bit harder on the car with it back-to-back -back battles, but hey, we put it in the bag. We gave it our best, so uh, let's see how, how we turned up. But now that was sick. I love this. Donny D, do you think you have what it takes to win this? Yeah, hell yeah. We, we can't really chase too much better, but um, hey, if it's another one more time, I'm getting used to those, so bring it on. Well, fantastic stuff from our finalists, Cole Armstrong and Drew Tonovan. The pit crew's hard at work trying to keep those cars cool. Who are the judges going to call, though? Who is taking the victory here at Forsyth Bar? Well, there we go. The handshake between the two drivers. It goes down to the call. We go downstairs. It will be Cole Armstrong that wins round one of the Demon Energy D1NZ National Drifting Championship. Forsyth Bar Dunedin. That's it. He's done it. Cole Armstrong, the V Energy 250 GT Skyline, our first round winner, first blood in the 2017 championship. Drew Donovan coming home in second place. Darren Kelly, of course, finishing in third place. Nico Reed, unfortunately, slotting into fourth. Michael Prosnick rounding out the top five. And there is your championship points for the opening round. Let's chat with our winner. Yeah, we're pretty stoked, eh? Hey? Uh, obviously, it's a long way down here for us from the mount. But uh, yeah, come down here and. Um, yeah, we had a bit of a blast, bit of a learning curve, a real technical track, bit of something different. This um, concrete's very slippery, so you've got to work the car to, uh, you know, get the grip into it. But, um, yeah, pretty honoured to come down to do something like this in such a magnificent stadium. I've done it in China at uh, an Olympic stadium, but being here in New Zealand, I'm, I'm pretty proud to uh, take out the first round and hopefully uh, we can keep carrying on with the rest of the season. Well, Cole Armstrong, our round one winner here at Forsyth Bar Stadium in Dunedin. We hope you've enjoyed the coverage for round one. Tune in to the next episode of D1NZ, brought to you by Demon Energy. We've got coverage from Manfield Raceway. For more series info, visit d1nz.com.